Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Subhub Sports Cards, Subhub Grading. Today we're going to be going over a order of cards that came in. Um, this was documented by the customer and I just kind of want to document it myself as well. Um, these are all gem mint cards uh, from different grading companies. He's going to do an experiment uh, crossing them over, or not crossing over exactly, but cracking these out and resubmitting um, to the company. So I'm also going to go ahead and wipe them all up, clean them uh, the best I can uh, to get them in the best possible shape before resubmitting. Uh, now take in mind there's no alterations that take place. I don't use any chemicals on the cards. Uh, basically just a wipe down, reevaluate, and uh, try to get gems on these from BGS. So we got FCG. This one has a 9 on the surface. We've got FCG again. This one has 9 on the corners. This one is an orange shimmer and it has a 9 on the centering. couple more FCG. This one has nine centering. Patino. This one has nine surface and three tens everywhere else. Maybe get a ten on that one hopefully. Uh, nine centering. Nine fives. And then we got uh, nine surface on this one. And the Gemini's. Then we have some CSG. This was a true gem. These are the old label CSGs. Uh, nine surface. This one had a 10 at CSG. We'll say it's hard to get a gem at CSG, but it's also very hard to get a gem at BGS. It's another 10. This one had 9.5 centering. And I can already tell you that centering is probably a 9 at BGS. Uh, another 10 CSG and a 9.5 CSG true gem. So we'll see how those go. And then we got, oh, HGA. HGA Luis Matos. So we got a true gem. Another HGA 9.5. This one got. Nine on the surface. A Bobachet refractor. This one got a nine on the corners. Again, I'm going to be cracking all these out. I'll be doing some evaluations using the scope and uh, computer programs that I have to evaluate the cards best as possible. This one got a nine surface. I can see uh, a dimple right right where my thumb's at right there. It's kind of hard to see unless you get it at the right angle. Um, yeah, I can't even can't even really point it out on camera. But there's a little dimple right there. Oh, right right there. You can see it. So. We'll get these cracked out and further evaluation. Okay, so I'm starting with just the HGA here. I've got these cracked out. And uh, while I was taking them out, I was kind of just looking at them. Uh, but I want to kind of go over a few things that I saw and found and things that could be an issue, things that uh, might clean up very easily. So uh, first up, we have the Tolentino. And this one looks pretty good. It does have a couple print lines that run down. Um, you can see the print lines there. This one did get a 9 on the surface. It got 10 centering, which looks like 
nine five centering to me at BGS. A little top heavy, just a little bit. And then um, on the back, it looked pretty good. There was, uh, like I said, the, just those couple print lines. And then there's a little, I don't know if it's a fingerprint or what, right up kind of by that corner. So that seemed to help a little bit there. So we got that card that I think will improve. I'll go ahead and set that off to the side. And we'll keep the, the flip, as they call them, the label. This one had a nine surface as well. Again, we did see that uh, dimple right up here. It's easier to see without the case, uh, which is nice. And I also see a little tiny scratch right below his arm next to his chest plate there. You see that? Now hopefully that will wipe off. Um, let's check the rest of the card first. Uh, I got a couple minor like dots, one here and one on this side. Uh, right next to the line there. So we got that. And then the top of the card looks pretty good to me. Back of the card, which is very important to the grading process, uh, looks pretty clean to me. It is off on centering, heavy on the bottom. But usually back centering doesn't play a huge factor. Um, and you'll also see some slight print lines that run up and down through the chest plate right there. Now on to these up here. These I did see problems with. Um, as soon as I cracked them out, it was pretty apparent. So hopefully this can gem. I, I, I believe it's going to get a 9. Uh, it's got a pretty decent... Let's see if I can get it in the right light. Pretty decent print line uh, that runs through his throwing arm. Can't quite capture it on the video. It runs right through the Bowman at the top here let's see there you can see it there you go got that print line right there and then on the back it's where I saw the most issues the biggest issue is right here it almost looks like it almost looks like there was something pressed down on the front. It's obviously from the factory um, because it's there's no dent on the front. But it, it um, it's like a, 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 it's not a bubble, but it's like a, uh, something was dented from the other side of this cardboard is what it looks like. Not exactly sure what it is exactly. But that's probably the biggest issue I would say on this card and then the edge over here on the right you can see that whiting right there and it's actually you can see that I don't know if you can tell what that is but that it's like pressed down just a little bit or something or lifted up can't quite tell it looks like it's lifted up if you look from the side it's just, it's minor, but it is going to give the edge probably a 9. And then we got the corners down here showing just a touch of white. You can see that both bottom corners showing a touch of white. Uh, the Matos. This one showed as a true gem. From HGA but right when I took it out you can definitely see that one of the corners uh, is not perfect is it a 9.5 I don't know I don't think so it's harder to see on this card because it's white and it's hard to pick up 
through the camera. See if I can. It's yeah, it's really hard to pick up through the camera. But when I when I put it up to my eye there, and you can definitely see that, that corner is 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 a nine. There's no way that's a nine five. Uh, I'll try one more time just to capture it on video. We'll try it without this first. Uh, you can almost see it. You can, I mean, I guess you can kind of tell right there. But again, on the white card, and I can't get the correct shine on it, um, I don't think that corner is a 9.5. Let's, let's just leave it at that. But um, again, I will check this other card. I'm sorry, check the rest of the card. The rest of the card looks pretty good. There is a dimple uh, right there, right, right there. So that's going to affect the surface grade as well. The auto looks like it's probably a 9, uh, just because it's light on the top. And then you have the streak right there. So I would guess this one is a, is a 9. I also saw something at the top right there. And next up will be CSG. Okay, so the CSG is now cracked out. And I will say right off the bat, these do look a lot better than the last ones. I know we do have some 10s in here, so that is expected. But here we go. We're just going to start with this one over here. This one was a True Gem Plus with 10 on the edges. Um, I did see a little bit of surface issue. Let's see if I can. Document that here, but uh, surface looks good on the front. And the only issue I saw on the back was right here. Uh, see if I can get that in the right light. Yep, yeah, right, just right there. So it looks like a little tiny indent. It's not that deep at all. Um, it's hard to see straight on. So, I mean, that could. That could possibly get a 9.5 surface. Uh, just depends on the grader. It's either a 9 or a 9.5 surface, in my opinion. So, other than that, the card looks really good. Again, I will be uh, going back over these, wiping them down, making sure that there's no issues, dust, uh, fingerprints, anything like that. Uh, this is strictly for the video purpose, just to point out any flaws that these grading companies might have missed or that may affect it going to BGS and getting a similar grade. So 9.5 here, got a 9 on the surface. Uh, there is a small print line that runs right down through here. You see that dust on the auto? We're going to take care of all that. Uh, you don't want that on there. Uh, so, again, you want to be very, very careful when you're going over the auto. Um, it's very, very delicate. You don't want that dust on there either. So, you can see, you don't want to rub the whole auto off and <laughs> I don't mean that you don't want to rub all the dust off the auto but you don't want the dust around the auto if that makes sense so there is some little print lines right below the auto you can see that I'm just going to see if I can wipe those out real quick. I 
basically just taking the microfiber. Um, there is a, a yellow microfiber I use, a black microfiber I use, and then a cloth microfiber that I use. Uh, different types of results. They have like different types of grit on them, I guess you would say. Uh, not really grit. That's, that's the wrong term, but I liken it to uh, like different types of sandpaper, even though it's n does nothing, <laughs> it doesn't do anything that sandpaper does. Um, so you can still see them under the auto. So that's an issue. There's also um, a little uh, like refractor defect right here where it's like missing part of the picture and you can see the refractor behind it so this one I think is probably a this one got a nine surface yeah I would have to agree that's probably an accurate grade everything else looks really good on this card so still has a chance at Jim All right, and then next, this one is a 10. This one got a 9.5 on the corners. I'm just gonna take a look at the surface here. It does have a little something right through the hat right there. Uh, overall, looks pretty good on the front. And again, the back looks really nice as well. So what I've seen so far is very accurate grading from CSG. Um, let's see if I can get this. Gonna kind of wipe down the card, making sure that I get the edge real good because otherwise you will get fingerprints on the edge. So you still see the print line through his hat. And this one got a 9.5 on corners. I don't see anything on the corners. I'm going to take another look with my scope real quick. But these corners look really good. Yeah, that one would warrant a 9.5. So um, they're really nice. There's no major issues with the corners. Um, so I think the 9.5 grade is accurate on the corners there. So that was the subgrades on that one. Got another 10 here. Alec Burleson, Red Wave. And this one had the centering issue. 9.5. And again, that's borderline 9 to me. Could be a 9.5, but if you look at it, the top is definitely heavier than the bottom. Left to right looks pretty good. Very minor surface issue right up here. It's like a just a little dent above the tops logo in the gray area of the stat bar you can see it just just a little dent that's a little bit bigger than the orange peel should be uh, nothing major again and on these waves sometimes it's really hard to see uh, print lines and stuff like that 
Uh, I do see a scratch right on his helmet there. See that? There we go, that's a little better. So you do have that on the surface. And there is a slight print line that runs through the auto, right through the B right there. So this one was, I think, not going to get, it's definitely not going to get a 10. So that one, I think, is 9.5 at best. little overgrade there at CSG. Then we got a Justin Foscue Black. This one had a 9.5 surface, everything else 10s. So there's a little scratch right up here on the top border and a print line right there. You see the scratch right to the right of the print line. Now keep in mind, these companies do allow for a little bit but if it's something that's egregious or um, very noticeable, they will mark off for it. There's a good chance this does get a 9.5. I do not think it gets a 10. Uh, but that's our Justin Foscue. And last is a Maximo Acosta Blue. So I've got 9.5, got a 10 on the centering, 9.5s everywhere else. You can see print lines, multiple print lines that run down through the card, through the auto, all the way down. Uh, centering looks really good on this card. Besides those print lines, surface looks really good. Uh, there's a slight corner right down here is causing the 9.5 grade uh, and then edges edges feel very smooth and nice back looks very nice corners look really good on the back that's very important so overall I think this was graded correctly I think it should still get a 9.5 all right, so lastly, we have our FCG cards. Uh, we're going to start with this one up here on the top right. Um, this one got a 9 on the surface. And that is this card here. So we'll go ahead and take a look. There's a very minor dimple right, right on his shoulder. Got a print line that runs right up through here. Very minor. And then on the back, got a minor corner very minor and then we've got something right over here it's like right here let's see if I can pick it up so hard getting these minor flaws on camera Well, the fact that I can't get it on camera just shows you how minor it is. Um, but otherwise, I think it was graded accurately. Um, got a 9.5 and 9 on the surface, yep. So, 
very accurate there. Next up, we have our Garrett Mitchell first. This Garrett Mitchell got a nine on the corners, nine five, nine five on centering, and a 10 on the edges. There is a slight print line that runs right down. You can see it up here at the top. And it continues down through the jersey. You can kind of see it right there. So you got that, which is minor. Uh, back corners look good. Surface looks good on the back. So again, fairly accurate, which is what I expect from the FCG. They're usually pretty accurate. Uh, Jefferson Quero Orange Shimmer. This one was nine centering, nine fives everywhere else. And you could tell the top is slightly heavier than the bottom. Left to right looks good. Uh, surface looks pretty good. There are a couple minor print lines. You could see it right there. It goes right through his bicep there. But again, very minor. Edges are maybe a 9.5. And corners are a 9.5 in my opinion. Slight, slight, not 100% not sharp there. But overall, again, accurate grade, 9.5. Emerson Hancock, uh, this one got nine centering, nine fives everywhere else. This one I definitely see print lines that run horizontal and vertical. So with this one having multiple print lines like that, um, I would guess this surface is a 9. Uh, it's also got an imperfection right down here. Looks like a factory mark. Let me take a closer look. Yeah, it's just an imperfection down here on the border under the name. Nothing major. Uh, But yeah, I'd probably give surface a nine on this. Centering is off right to left. You could tell it's heavy on the right. And then we have nice looking corners on the back. We got a surface issue right up here at the top. Just a slight, I don't know if you could see that. It's like an indent, but it's very, very small here. But it's noticeable to the naked eye, so uh, should be able to pick this up on camera. You can see it right in the middle, right here, it's right along the edge, but on the surface. I don't think it actually touches the edge, so that would be another surface issue there. So you're looking at probably a nine surface. Uh, could go as low as an eight five surface. I do. I'm noticing another surface issue right here, next to the logo. 
See that right there? Again, that could wipe off. So that one is probably an 8.5 to a 9 on the surface. And then this back corner. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. So, yeah. Again, fairly accurate. It's, except, I will say, their surface grade was off. It's not a 9.5. It's probably a 9, which will make the overall card a 9. Uh, Wilfred Patino. This one got a 9 surface, 10s everywhere else. Has a monster print line that runs down the side of it. It's pretty deep, pretty thick. And then also one right here. So this is a 9 surface at best. I see a bunch of little surface lines as well. Um, we got multiple surface lines. Uh, definitely a 9 surface. Just by looking at the front and the back. The back looks pretty good. I don't know if I'd call that 10 corners or not, but it uh, looks pretty good. So this one has a chance of getting a 9. Uh, most likely 9.5, but the surface is going to hurt it there. Uh, two more cards. We got a Zach Britton. This one got 9 centering, 9.5s everywhere else. Uh, centering on this one then yeah is a nine it's slightly off top to bottom and slightly off left to right not a lot but just enough uh, surface I do see some print lines which is very common on the back you can see the centering a little bit a little bit better there off top to bottom heavy on the right which would be heavy on the left if you flip it around uh, surface looks good on the back I don't see any issues there so again fairly accurate grading there FCG And last card of this video is going to be a Gilberto Jimenez with a 9 surface, 10 centering. Centering looks very good. 9 surface we do have uh, right there on the shoulder blade. That, that could wipe off. And then corners, I see another surface issue, and I do see a corner that doesn't look 100%. Uh, the surface issue is right up here by my finger. It's right in between the gray and the red that surrounds the border. There, right there, you see that little white dot, it's reflecting in the light. It's like a little tiny dimple. So you got that, and this corner up top is not 100% perfect. Corners are not 100% perfect, you got down here as well. I would say this one is most likely going to be a 9 or a 9.5 if that mark will come off there. So that is our evaluation